Hey, I'm Rigged, I'm a game developer, and I've spent most of my time developing multiplayer games. This series is an introduction to Fishnet and Unity by building a game with similar mechanics to the recently released Lethal Company. If you haven't seen it before, Lethal Company is a co-op horror game which utilises multiplayer very well. Before we get started, I'd appreciate if you check out our VR game Schlob. It's a multiplayer sword fighting game where you battle your friends in nonsense arenas. Alright, onto the story. We just want to start by making a new project. I'm on version 2021.3.17f1. I'm just going to use built-in render pipeline. We'll call this Unity tutorial. With Unity open, the first thing we're going to want to do is get Fishnet installed. So we're going to go up to the package manager. Now, if you don't see Fishnet in here, you just need to go to the asset store and add it to your library. Make sure it's downloaded and we'll import it. Mine's coming up saying that there's some updated APIs, so I'm just going to update for these files. There we go. Once that's open, it will bring up this little editor window. Uh, and you can just make it not ask again or whatever. All right. One more thing we want to install before we move on is Parallel Sync, which will let us have two Unity windows open without having to actually have or make the changes on the second window. It does that all for you. So we're going to just click on the releases, get the newest Unity package, and then you'll just want to import that. There we go. That's all of our stuff imported. So to start, we're not actually going to have full networking. It's only going to be hosted locally. Uh, we'll handle actually you know, relays and servers and all that shit later. For now, let's set up a network manager. This is the most important object in your scene. So just add the fishnet network manager and you'll get an error uh, saying that you need some prefab objects. So just click this, add in your prefab objects and that'll go away. Next thing you're probably going to want is bug boat, which is your transport. I'm not going to go into too much how this works because I only understand the basics and I'm not educated enough to explain it to you but just know that the client address is the address you're connecting to the port is the port that is being run on so if you're going to port forward this is the port you would use i think but don't quote me on that because i haven't put forwarded right we're going to open up our first script now which we're going to write a connection starter which is a concept i got from obzi obzi made a video on this network connection starter and i have taken it with it because it works perfectly. We're gonna make a scripts folder and create C sharp script from this connection. Okay. With this open, we're first going to create an enum of connection type. We only have two types in Fishnet, which are host and client. Obviously, you can also run as a server, but because we're only hosting locally, we're gonna only have host and client and the server can handle it itself. So in start, we are first going to check if parallel sync dot is or dot clones manager dot is clone. And if we are, we're gonna straight away just say instance finder, which is our fishnet's kind of main uh, singleton finder. So you can find your server manager or client manager or whatever. So we're gonna find our client manager we're going to say start connection so if we are a clone we're going to start the connection now if you don't want any errors on build you're going to need to make sure your a unity editor before compiling this uh that way it doesn't uh compile this code outside of the editor otherwise you would be getting errors on build if we are not a clone we're just going to say instance finder dot server manager dot start connection and also start a client which means we are starting as a host because a host is a server and a client on the same machine i forgot to check our connection type so we're going to make a public connection type up here and then if we're not a clone we're going to check if our connection type is host and that's when we will do this else we will just start the client so this code is essentially saying if we're a clone start up a client because we don't want to be hosting on the clone editor and if we're on our main editor if we're trying to host start up a server and a client but if for some reason we've said just start as a client then only start the client yeah. there are a few more things that we're going to want to do first off on enable we're going to want to 
check on client connection state we're gonna subscribe to this event with on client connection state create that method we get some client connection state arguments we can say if those args which i haven't called args because i generated this with writer if args dot connection state is equal to local connection dot stopping if our connection's being stopped externally so on in this case if the host left and we're on the client and we're being kicked off we're just going to stop playing so you're going to say unity editor dot editor application dot is playing is equal to false and that will just stop the game from or just stop everything on unity that's a really bad explanation very sorry basically if our every time our connection state changes it calls this event that's how subscriptions work and then we're checking if our connection state is being stopped we're just going to stop the application from playing uh, we only want to do this if we're in editor as well so we're just going to take this pop this up here there you go the only other thing that i have in my script is a check for if we are dedicated server uh, and it just says server start connection but you don't need that if you're not going to be hosting dedicated servers uh, in this series i'm going to show you how to use steam and their relay but that will come in a later episode anyway you can now drop this connection starter on your network manager and if you click play now you will see in the console that we get a local client a local server and everything is started we have a everything working but to see this working properly you're obviously going to want a little bit of a scene going so we're going to just place down a plane create a folder for materials uh, we'll just call this checker uh, unity comes with this nice checkered texture by default and i like using it so we're just going to take that pop it on there give it some space there you go and fishnet comes with a player spawner that's what it's called um we're just going to set up a very basic player so player reset our transform and every single network prefab so you can see on here it needs a network object so we're just going to put a network object on that and you don't have to worry about any of that we're just going to make a prefabs folder drag in this player object uh if you want you can add like a, a capsule to it maybe so we can see the player although it's not gonna you know actually move or anything yet uh when we save you can see default prefab generator all of that and you can see now we have this player network object if you want to name it like tutorial player to see it more easy there you go it's there and then all of you need to do obviously is drag in the tutorial player here and set up some spawn points so just do this uh, i'm going to add in this little icon to make it easier to see add a parent called spawns and then four spawn points cool now when we click play we should not see anything because i haven't added the spawns into the list yet bear with me there we go now when we click play we should have one of those little capsule spawn there you go and if you want to see that working networked open up peril sync's clone manager or we'll create a new clone keep in mind that when using peril sync you do genuinely have two of the same project um it updates each time you open the new editor uh, but that does mean you have double the storage space being taken up but honestly i'd rather that than have to make a build every time i want to test okay you can see in the bottom of the screen now i have the second editor open um and you can yeah everything works it's all there uh let's just make a point here if I move the spawn points up to one 
on this editor, save. When I click over here, it will say blah, blah, blah. You click reload, and there you go. It happens over here. Nice and easy. So, again, to prove a point, I'm just going to click play on the client here, or on the clone. And you'll see that local client is starting for Tugboat, but it can't because there's no server or no host or whatever. So over here, we're going to start first. And we can see we've got our tutorial player. Very nice. Now if I come over to the other editor, we should hopefully see that it actually connects. There you go. And on both, we have our players, whatever. And if I was to close the server, so turn off the host, you can see that this one also ends. Nice and easy. I'm going to spend the last part of this episode going over just the important thing, which is network transforms. So if I open up this tutorial player and I'm getting network transform. So even with just that network transform, we can actually see a bit more of what's happening. So I'm going to open up the host and a client. Now on the client in the editor, I'm going to just simply move the player using my mouse. There you go. You can see it is all moving. It's all synchronizing. And if I was to come over here, I'll open up the second window again. And you can see I'm moving this one and it's all working perfectly fine. Okay. That should do for the initial setup.